Hi friends, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to discuss how to find out you're addicted to Instagram. Hi, uh, if you're new to this channel, my name is Anish Pradeep and I have been living in Kazakhstan for almost seven years now. Uh, usually in this channel, I make videos regarding life in Kazakhstan, especially how expats can live comfortably in Kazakhstan. But today it's going to be a different video. Today I want to help myself and you to find out if we are addicted to Instagram. Uh, in, in Instagram, I have around 12,000 followers and recently I deleted the app from my phone because I was feeling that it's taking too much time from my life. Uh, so I, then I decided I want to help others. So I'm going to make two videos. The first video is how to detect, how to find if you are addicted to Instagram, is it affecting your life? And the second video I'll be making uh, how to fix yourself, how to fix myself and uh, how to improve using social media. Uh, before going through the checklist, I want to say that uh, I had all these uh, requirements for being a social media addict. Um, so probably we both of us have the same one. Uh, the first one is knowing to be, you're known as do it for the gram. You do, it, you do anything just for an Instagram photo. You plan everything, otherwise you're not interested to do in any activity. Uh, second is meals are a photo shoot. So before going out for a dinner or even even cooking food uh, You think that is this dish gonna be looking good for the photo Even if the dish comes out you keep on taking photos and until you get the best one for your Instagram By that time your food is already cold. Third one is uh, when you meet your friends or colleagues the first question you are, you'll be asking is have they seen or liked your last post in Instagram Rather than asking how they are, how the family are, uh, asking them did they see your Instagram photo may feel a bit uh, egoistic. Uh, so uh, it's, it's not a good way to start a conversation. Uh, but I have some people uh, ask me whether I have seen or liked their Instagram photo or what is my opinion. The fourth one is um, stalking someone in Instagram. So let's say you see someone and you want to know more information rather than talking to that person you're trying to find their Instagram username but secretly and going through all their posts and trying to define yourself who that person is making an image of that person by just going through their Instagram photos uh, it's not going to help you in any way people portray differently in their Instagram than their real life so if you want to understand a person I would recommend talk to that person spend some time rather than stalking their photos. The next one is uh, deleting photos. For example, you post some pictures and you don't get enough likes. Let's say you get 11 likes in like five hours. You decide that this post is not performing and you want to delete it. Uh, so it clearly shows that you're not posting pictures for others to enjoy, your family members and friends to enjoy. You are really addicted to getting the likes, getting the validation of other people for your post. The next one, it's very interesting whenever there's a group photo you always try to st stand in the front maybe in the middle to make sure that it's good for your Instagram it's it doesn't look good for example if you have a lot of friends that know you a lot they may feel bad that they understand you rather you would rather stand in the middle for a good Instagram picture than enjoying the moment and the friendship uh, the next one uh, I had the same personal experience your phone is full of photos personally I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 with 128 GB and because nowadays the cameras are best and they take large pictures good quality you can open your photo open your phone and if you see uh, the same photo 25 times with small small variations and your phone memory is getting full this is also one of the ways to detect you are addicted to uh, Instagram. Now the next one is a bit narcissistic. You feel you you think about only yourself and you feel amazing when you get compliments from others. Uh, you feel like when you meet someone if that person doesn't speak about your last Instagram post or what you're posting on Instagram, you feel insecure, but you feel amazing and confident only if someone uh, praised your Instagram post. The next one is uh, posting something in Instagram saying this is no filter but it's a real photo but uh, some people know that people who don't use Instagram filter use many many amazing apps like VSCO, um, photo, mobile Photoshop. You use these apps to make the food, uh, not the food sorry, the photo look amazing and then you put hashtag 
no filter. I know that you really mean that you're not using Instagram filters, but we all know by looking the photo that it has been edited or filtered in some way. The next uh, trend is uh, planning your Instagram before planning the activity. Let's say you have a Sunday evening and you want to go out. You have option to go to the mountains, go to the city, go to a shopping mall. You first plan which, uh, which uh, place will be looking good for your Instagram post and you plan your Instagram before visiting any activities. Now the next uh, three things are the first is you plan your time when you want to post pictures uh, usually what people do is they take a photo make some edits and upload the photo they really they're not going to think which time is the best which day of the week is best to post the picture so that you get a lot of likes and if you want to post a picture just post the picture i have seen people walking around asking opinions at least from three people showing them uh, 10 variations of photo and asking them which photo is the best uh, for your instagram people clearly understand that you're not asking just to find the best pictures you're just trying to do a survey from other people which photos are going to perform well so you ask at least 10 people to see which of them they're saying which of them they like very much that may your main focus is to get more likes rather than sharing your life to your family and friends. The next one is uh, using Instagram for everything. Instagram for finding news, Instagram for shopping, in Instagram for uh, finding prices in restaurant, Instagram for searching people. So technically, Google Instagram becomes a Google for you. You wake up in the morning, you search something, you get your news. Doesn't matter if it's a real news or a fake news. If you see it in Instagram, it's a news for you. You go to your office, discuss the same news. Instagram becomes the one portal of all information. The next one uh, people are addicted to is the follower and following ratio. You clearly keep an eye on how many people you are following and how many followers you have. Uh, if you are a social media or Instagram addict, you may feel uncomfortable if you follow like 1000 people and only 200 people are following you. It may, doesn't make you feel like a social media a star so you, you always try to keep a balance of the people you're following and you follow uh, people following you so the, this ratio should be in such a way that the number of followers should be much higher than the people you're following uh, the next one is for very instagram uh, professionals uh, even if you take a photo and the photo looks amazing you keep on thinking is the this photo following the vibe of your instagram profile some people take photos of certain artistic characters some of them post only black and black and white photos so even though you take a great picture of your family or friends or nature you also make sure that it follows the same aesthetics as your instagram profile the next one is you take it personally when someone doesn't follow you back you know people are very busy people may not open instagram 25 times a day so let's say you follow someone and you wait for some time and if you're even thinking about checking that person if that person is following back and if you're feeling bad for that if that person doesn't follow it means that you need validation from people for you instagram is a way of life for you it means that you are following someone is like a kind of a family or a friend you become friends by following someone and if that person doesn't follow back for you it means that there is no friendship the last sign that you are really really addicted to instagram and it affected me also is checking instagram all the time all the time means when you wake up when you're at the toilet when you're doing some serious activities you get tired and you have like a five minutes break you go to instagram for that five minutes uh, it really takes a lot of time from your life and my life because the break you take breaks from a serious project to relax your mind relax your brain relax your body and eyes uh, i don't think it's a good idea to spend more time on instagram get more data give more stress for your eyes your brain is thinking unconsciously so this was very uh, bad for me it took a lot of time from me so this is the main sign you're really addicted you don't know what else to do even if you're uncomfortable in the street you just take the phone and go through instagram scrolling up and down up and down so these are the major signs that you're really addicted to instagram i'm not saying instagram is bad but these are the signs you're too much addicted your life is being affected by instagram and uh, in the next video i will explain what are the steps i personally took to keep away from instagram but also not um, miss on any information uh, hopefully this video was helpful for you if you enjoyed please make sure to like this video uh, i usually make videos from india and kazakhstan 
and if you want to see more interesting travel videos please subscribe if this video performs well i will try to make videos that helps me and you and we can improve ourselves together see you soon goodbye